the most famous people are so impressed with other famous people. Why do you think famous people are so happy when they're in a room with other famous people? They just love being famous. Like some people love being talented, but I find that some people really love being famous. Like you have to, if you go to every single party, if you're on every red carpet, every award show, every fucking podcast, every time there's a camera, if you're there at every football game, every basketball game, you, you, it, how do you, that means you don't love your privacy. But I'm a person that I love to leverage my celebrity so I can create a better environment for my privacy. Pause. You know, that's just how I see things. So I just think um, also to get to that level of people that are addicted to that, you have to be compromised in some way for, for you to get in that club because they got compromised to get in that club. That's all they know. So, you know, I just feel like once you get in that club, whoever, because what you got to remember is I was there. You know, I was offered these opportunities to sell my, 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 my culture out, but I just told them no. It was offered to me. So I was, I made paid in full with Harvey Weinstein and Bob Weinstein 10 years before anyone was thinking about the music business, and they just paused, rubbed me the wrong way. So I, I wasn't going to be the guy to bring nobody, no girls. I wasn't going to be the guy to make money off of the demise of my culture in a corny way so that they could make money. I wasn't going to be a part of any of the freak off shit, pause. And I don't want to call it that because it seemed whatever they were doing that got homie jammed up. I just didn't want to be a part of any part of elements of that at all. And I chose to do it on my own years ago. And when you say no to people, they don't like it. And then they tell all their friends in every other industry, yo, he's going to tell you no. So you don't work with him. But I thought it was just in the music business. It is in every business. And that's cool. I don't want the devil's money. I don't want to make the devil no money. I don't. I don't want to hang out with the devil to get money. And that's not a race. That's a mentality of people that want to exploit creatives and cheat to get where they got to go and do things that are considered weird. That ties into like what Stephen Baldwin said about you. Like, how do you feel about what he said recently about you, about that you all about your family, you created your own business, you didn't take, you stepped away from, you did what was right for you. I thought that was mad random, right? But it was dope. It, to me, number one, it was crazy to me that he could sum that up so quickly and it was because he's objective. He's from another culture and he was just studying the business, you know? And it was like, cool, I actually posted it up. And I, I think he was in Usual Suspects and I fuck with Usual Suspects. If he's, you know what I mean? And, and he's a good actor. So that's someone that I actually watched on TV when I was young, was in a movie that has inspired me to make other movies in that way and he's saying some shit, he's recognizing that. It's funny because most people from my culture can't recognize that or celebrate that because it just feels like there's some narrative that they've been programmed to believe for some stupid ass reason. But I thought that was dope that beyond my culture, other cultures and people that recognize art that is you know, considered serious in their industry can appreciate that. All right, gang, so Fat Joe was recently on uh, Shane Sharp show. Um, how do you feel about what he said? So I, I don't want to spend too much time on that. But